are scooting right through May. I can't believe it is the start of the third week. I have no concept of time at all, but I wanted to give you a video and since in the beginning I had more ideas for mermaid than I thought I did, would rather, um, I figured I wanted to just do a chilling and relaxing coloring video. Um, my ideas for content thus far have been just nice, relaxing, um, and calming videos, um, whether it be me coloring with Copics or watercolor. And uh, I know it helps me because I view a lot of other artists and videos on YouTube, whether it be gaming or, or so, um, as background noise and just like, you know, you hear the sound of another person's voice and then some people just like, you know, the theory of watching someone else color or just drawing along with them. So this is just relaxing and coloring the mermaid. Uh, this, of course, if you haven't found out already, this is the siren from the Starbucks logo. Um, I have drawn her plenty of times. I love her design and I like pushing it with my style and seeing what I could do. This time I went to go a little curvy with her and show some curvy love and I think she came out like so beautiful. Um, I used uh, for the torso pose from Pinterest. Thank you very much Pinterest models. You guys are beautiful and um, <laughs> I wish I could tell but I can't because it's been through Pinterest, you know, who the actual people are, especially if it was for an ad. But um, I'm really happy with how this came out and for this piece, because it's Starbucks, Starbucks has very warm colors in their palette as far as their logo and branding go. Um, in various stores may um, divert from that, uh, depending upon you know how they always have like a a beautiful little wallpaper that somebody has designed or an illustration or just they have a bunch of fun things like their design department is totally on key and I totally applied uh to be a designer for Starbucks but I think I'm a little far away and they'd rather just hire somebody but you never know just in case they uh really liked my design portfolio and didn't mind be moving to come up there I would totally in a second be like yes I will make art for you Starbucks but anyways um so yeah I'm just testing out different um earth tones with a palette um green and sepia and black and white are the colors of their logo and their coffee cup and just typically they have very muted calming earth tones so I wanted to stick with that for her hair and then although it is cliche to do a you know a green tail and you know my silly artist mind was nitpicking at me and being like oh you just gonna make her tail green but I'm like well it is and if I make her if I make her <laughs> tail brown, I just don't think I would be able to, um, I don't think I'd be able to like design her as coming across as the Starbucks. However, it would be interesting now that I think about it, upon reflection right now, as we watch this video, I think it would be interesting to try and invert those colors and give her like green hair with a brown tail i'd have to you know me with my colors i would have to really because it's earth tone but i would be working with some other warm colors to incorporate with this 
I stuck to a couple different greens and a couple different browns and you'll see later that I will actually go over the greens with a little bit of yellow and um, some of the, the green in her tail I will go over with another color brown for texture and to bring the whole composition together. Um, and her crown is of course gold, but you know, the gold Copic markers, it's at its base is, it's basically gold if gold had to be flat. I didn't want to add any glitter on it. I just wanted it to be a chill, relaxing, you know, fun experience. I was just sitting there watching YouTube videos and coloring and relaxing. And uh, I hope this is relaxing for you. I'll just say relaxing five more times and hope that convinces you. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, so I wanted to probably keep releasing, like, similar things. I get different ideas all the time, so I'm not going to commit to, like, times or a schedule or anything like that, but I want to release as much content as I possibly can because I would like to share and help give back, um, to those who are already providing content for us. And I wanna be one of those people who is helping to give content to everybody who really needs it right now. Um, so I actually came up with the idea to do a Bob Ross kind of spinoff, but because his, his, he's, you know, he's wonderful and he's calming and relaxing and he's a legend. And if you want some chill stuff to draw to, Netflix has, you know, his entire show, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what seasons exactly, but it's literally called, uh, is it called Chill Time with Bob Ross or Painting with Bob Ross? It's like something there and he's just a beautiful artistic hippie and he has discovered shapes and colors and he's a masterful painter and he paints it really quick unfortunately if i were to do something similar with watercolors watercolors don't i can't build on top of them and how bob ross works is he's already working on a primed canvas um that i believe is acrylic um and so it's already wet. So as he goes with acrylic, you can just build on top or move and push the colors. Whereas watercolor, you can't. You have to sit and wait for things to dry. So I've been trying to figure out how, how I would do that, like a relaxing with watercolor, because I want to be able to try and make it in real time. But at the same time, it won't it'll be a, the drying thing might be a problem and then of course the sound thing might be a problem because it is not exactly quiet <laughs> but that's what I'm cooking up in the works I also have officially started my patreon I'm really excited um, to do so those who have already committed thank you guys so much I really appreciate it during the soft opening, but I'm officially starting Patreon. Given the situation we're in right now, I want to seize this opportunity and make this my job, and I plan on doing that. If I know times are tough for everyone, and I even hate to ask, but um, I have to. So if you guys want to support my art, um, if you want to see this video in real time, along with other beneficial videos and Patreon exclusive content, such as helping me make decisions for comic ideas that I have coming up, Ooh. or our very own Discord. We can all jump in and share our artwork and be nice, a safe place where we can, as a community, go in, share our art, critique each other, help each other out. I'm so proud of this community. Anytime people have questions, if I don't get to them first, someone always answers it for them. And I just, I love you guys so much and you're 
a group of wonderful people and I just wanted to continue and emphasize that and put it in a space of our own um but if you go to patreon.com slash gleekles you will find uh the tiers where you can support me however you want and if you can't support me that way that's totally cool I'm also trying to work out a print a print store like work on some pieces to add to print um it would be through in print because I don't think I would be able to keep up with patreon and custom prints at the same time um I'm still like dive I'm diving like head first into so many ideas I have all these ideas to try and help make income now but um anyways yes so thank you guys so much for your love and your support and it really means a lot to me and I love making these videos for you if you enjoy my work you can follow me on Gleekles at Twitter and you can follow me I post most frequently on my Instagram which is also Gleekles and um there is of course my Patreon right now um I'm gonna get work on getting that imprint store up um hopefully during this process I'll have a lot of more original artworks available for you to actually buy prints of um but then again I'm doing so much and Patreon has been my main focus and I've been having so much fun with that because it's a push to make art and it's a push to make art for people who want to see it and are supporting me and it's just the best feeling and I feel so great right now about myself and my art which I have it forever whoops sorry about that but thank you guys so much for watching um I hope you found this video entertaining I hope you liked it um if you can support me on patreon that'd be great if not don't worry about it thanks for watching my videos I really love making them for you and I will include the real time version of this video on my patreon see you guys next time love you Mwah!